So guys, there is a, another question to do. The question says a body of height 40 cm and a uniform cross-sectional area floats in a water. 10 cm of the height of the body remains above the water line. So here is the figure. The total height is 40 cm and the above level is 10 cm and the water level is 30. Up to the water level, the height is 30. The density of water is rho. And density of body, we have to find. So density of the body is rho b. So basically, we have to make first the free body diagram. So the free body diagram will be, downwards it will be the total mass of the body. So, just assume that the cross sectional area is A. So, and it says that the, it says a uniform cross sectional area. So, the, it's a body like this. So, the area of this is cross section is A. So, the volume will be length into A. So, for downwards, the total length is 40. So, 40 into area. What is this? Volume. And volume into rho b. Means the density multiplied with the volume will be the total weight downwards. And above, upward will be the buoyancy force. And what is buoyancy force? Buoyancy force is the volume displaced by the body. That the water that could be in this place has been displaced by the body is the buoyancy force. So it will be rho that is the density of the water into 30 into A. The area, the volume of the object inside water. So we will equalize both of the forces and we will get the density of the body. So this is we have to find. So rho B equals to uh, into 40A equals to rho 30A. So, rho B equals to rho 30A upon 40A. So, it will become 3 by 4 rho equals to rho A. So, among these options, D is the final option. Now, we will look into the mark scheme and mark scheme says D is the right answer as we has have calculated. So hope you like this video. Kindly comment in the comment section if you have some another doubts. Thank you.